The morning office for January 30th. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Show us the light of your countenance, O God, and come to us. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgment. Protect my life and deliver me, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope is in you. The morning reading is read from John's Gospel, chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, In all truth I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born through water and the Spirit. What is born of human nature is human, but what is born of the Spirit is spirit. So do not be surprised when I say to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it pleases. You can hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 117. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph, for his loving kindness towards us is great, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Hallelujah. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. O Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, grant me your peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.